hello everyone welcome to another video and in this video i want to show you the script which is very useful for me uh, when i did use some external software in order to calculate uh, duct pressure uh, loss so that software at first need to map all elements which we have in the model so you will have some list with for example 30 elements in which you can see only the family name and you must know for each family name uh, what is the category and what is the purpose of that element in the model so if you don't know what is that uh, family is it a accessory or a me mechanical equipment or fitting then you need to cancel that dialog and then you need to find that element in the model and all that you have is only family name so you don't know the category so you cannot go to some category schedule and uh, highlight that element in the model in that case when you have only uh, the family name uh, i needed to create some script which is uh, like this which i will show you right now so for example i did use uh, some family name and i want to have as output uh, the category of that element and id of that element it's very simple user interface i need to type uh, what is the family name now i know that element belongs to mechanical equipment category and i know this id so now i can easily trace uh, that element in my project and this script uh, does not depend of the view so you can run this script in any view because it will read all families which you did load uh, in your project that is the case when you have only one instance uh, in the project now if we take some fitting and when we run the script now we can see that our element belong to the cable tray fitting category and that we have three different instances so now for example if i want to trace those elements now i can type some id i can call select by id i'll copy this id and now i did find that element i can see if i need to have that element uh, i can see again the category where it is what is his purpose and so on and so on and then uh, i can run that dialog again uh, and map that element uh, in my external software now i will show you this script in dynamo this is the entire script i will run the script one more time let's go with fittings we have our message so up here we have user interface and uh, it is very simple the user needs to type family name from the other hand uh, we want to know all families which we have uh, in our project we want to convert that to string so now we have the list of all uh, family names we have our own uh, family name we will try to find a match and as a result we will have family type now we need to go from family type to family instance sometimes you will have only one sometimes you will have more than one element uh, and then we need to uh, know for those elements what is the category of those elements and we will find that uh, over here and also we want again to convert those ids to strings and we want to join all those uh, values with a comma separator because we want to have that as a simple message in our output and we did type over here element category is then we will read the value over here we did type element ids and again we will uh, read the value over here and because we want uh, at first to show element category with the value then we want to have two blank rows and then we want to show this second message and we will deliver everything over here to our uh, sparrow uh, text box uh, basically output and then we will display that uh, as a message to the user in the pop-up uh, window and that is it that is the entire script thank you for watching bye